everyone, I'm Miss Lawton and I'm going to talk to you this morning about why I think you should take IBD, IBDP psychology or give you some more information if you are considering taking it. I started uh, thinking about why it is that I love the subject um, and I'm going to show you a short video in a second to exemplify that but the reason that I really love the subject is that it can be so applicable to uh, our, our daily walks in life, so really relevant to things that are going on in the world currently and that will always be the case because it is the study of human behaviour, the scientific study of human behaviour and thought processes. It's also really varied, so there's loads of different avenues that you can take psychology down as you'll see from this video. It's uh, made by the American Psychological Association so it is quite US centric, focused on US but that's not to say that these, that these issues that they're talking about, or these trends that they're talking about, uh, aren't relevant to all other countries all around the world. Here's your countdown for the top 10 trends in psychology in 2021. 10. Psychologists' growing role in law enforcement. Psychologists are tackling overly aggressive, racially biased policing on multiple fronts. New psychological research is shaping the legislative and agency priorities, while police departments across the country are embracing psychological interventions with promising results. 9. A new push to reach underserved communities. The twin pandemics of COVID-19 and racial injustice have shown a spotlight on health disparities and underscored the need for more research and outreach to better support diverse and underserved communities. 8. Important lessons from distance learning. Changes in education forced by the COVID-19 pandemic have highlighted the importance of principles like good self-management and social-emotional learning in the classroom. Educational psychologists say this could lead to lasting improvements in education. 7. The National Mental Health Crisis The COVID-19 pandemic, along with additional political, financial, and social stressors, has had a profound impact on Americans' mental health. Psychologists must act now to help those who need it and to prevent a more widespread crisis. Six, the growing field of psychology. While the world continues to grapple with great uncertainty, data suggests that the versatility and human skills a psychology education helps build are a boon in the face of instability. Five, mental health apps are gaining traction. COVID-19 could accelerate the development of more mental health apps, and psychologists say that self-help apps are leading more people to therapy rather than replacing it. Four, psychology research is front and center. Though the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted research, it has also highlighted the importance of psychology as funders turn an eye toward research that can help us prepare for the next pandemic. Three, the continued fight against racism. In the midst of America's racial reckoning, psychologists are playing a key role in rethinking bias, policing, and other issues, while also looking inward to dismantle racism within the field. Two, the increasing impact of social media. Psychologists are broadening their reach through social platforms. Researchers are sharing their results earlier, clinicians are sharing more mental health advice, and psychologists are reaching a more diverse audience. One, healing the political divide. With the dust settling on the 2020 presidential election, there is no doubt that the political divide is now a central trait of this country. Psychologists' research on the divide can help us bridge the gap through evidence-based dialogue groups, public information campaigns, and more. Okay, so like I said, I know it's very focused on, uh, on America and what's going on in the US, but you can see that there are so many relevant issues to, to countries all over the world. Their mental health, politics, law enforcement, all these issues and uh, the that are currently going on in the world and they're so topical, psychology research can be used and applied to help the, uh, the lives of people on the day to day. <clears throat> so you might be asking yourself, should I do psychology? Well, there's a little flowchart here, I'll let you, I won't talk uh, all the way through it, but there are some key questions. Do you want a career in psychology? Then yes, this is a subject that's gonna be a great introduction for that. If you want to work with people, uh, this is going to give you great skills and understanding of human thought processes and behaviour, so again, a brilliant, a brilliant place to start. Or generally, 
if you just think this sounds interesting, then please come and have a chat with me if you want more information after this. But also, it's definitely worth taking the risk and it's so interesting. You'll learn so many skills and so many interesting content. It complements a whole host of, psych of subjects in the IB. Biology, there's a huge biological part of, of psychology, so it complements that really well. Art, history, economics, looking at how people uh, spend, why that happens. Uh, and the IB in general is, it, is going to give you excellent critical thinking skills, and teach you to be reflective, think globally, so a really good subject to complement the IB as a whole as well. So what kind of things are you learning that you're probably most interested in? We tend to, in psychology, think about the approaches that psychology has, so, to, so looking at how we can behave, how we can explain behaviour and thought processes under the, from a biological point of view, from a sociological point of view, and from a cognitive point of view. So that's to do with the, the processes that happen in our brain. And we do that through different units. So one of them is criminology. We look at explaining why people might commit crimes, why people behave in the way that they do when it comes to crime um, from these different ideas. Are there any thought processes that, that, that operate to make people more likely to commit crime? Are there biological factors that play a role? And are there sociological factors that play a role? Similarly, we use those questions to look at how people are influenced in society. Why do people conform? Why do people obey? Um, we look at PTSD, so uh, looking at how we can explain this psychological disorder and how that comes about, and the, again, the different factors that could be used to explain that, biology, cognitive, sociology. We do some research, and we also look at explaining relationships using those same, uh, same factors. So a really uh, relevant and interesting bunch of topics there to explain the subject of psychology. Okay, you might be thinking, well, how am I going to know if I'm good at this? I haven't studied at GCSE, this is going to be new to me. Well, like all of your IB subjects, it's just a case of making sure that you work hard, keep organised, review often, and that you have that interest there. The skills and the knowledge will build up over time. Nobody's done GCSE psychology, we, so we're all in the same starting point, and that doesn't limit you in any way at all. In fact, it gives you a nice blank slate to start your mature IB learning process. Often people will be wondering what kind of job that you can go into once you've studied psychology. Are you just doing that so that you can become a psychologist, somebody who studies uh, human behaviour and thought processes? But actually there are so many applications and you learn so many skills with this subject that it can be uh, applied and useful for a whole host of careers as you can see from this board. So anything that ranges from medicine through to science, biology even through to more computer science based uh, careers or statistics even all the way through then to looking at the humanities and working a bit more uh, interacting a bit more with hu with humans and then there's also the uh, the skills and the analytical skills that you get from psychology that will really help if you want to go into generally some form of working in a business or marketing or, or looking at trying to explain why people do certain things in the, in the situation of uh, businesses. Of course, law and criminology are also relevant as well. Okay, so obviously I think this subject is great and relevant to all of you that sat there listening to this. Some of you uh, might be thinking the same, hopefully you are. But there are some things that you should bear in mind. There is quite a bit of content, okay, so there are lots of different studies to remember, lots of different ideas, and you have to make links between them. You need to be able to write well, okay, and use academic English well. There is a, there's a, an exam where you will be writing for two hours, writing short answer questions and essays, so please do bear that in mind. You might hear this question a lot, oh, you study psychology, can you read my mind? No, you can't, and you won't learn to do that on this course, I'm afraid. Uh, bear in mind that there are scientific aspects, so it's quite heavy on the biology, uh, which is great in my opinion. And those of you out there that have got a particular interest in MBTI, I'm afraid to say that you're not going to become an expert in that by studying IV psychology. 
But that's not to say that you can take that you can't take that that you can't explore and explain that using your psychological knowledge. I asked some of my wonderful Year 12s to give their opinions on uh, IB psychology. So there's a couple of videos here from them. Reasons why you should take psychology for an IB subject is firstly because it's a very flexible subject. Psychology could be applied to almost any of the majors that you're interested in for two or three years later in your life when you'll be applying to university. The in-class practicals are also very exciting because you'll be able to take part in random psychology experiments that your teachers conduct. Some of your friends will seem to be already confident in their decisions in terms of IB subjects, while you're less wondering what to decide. Psychology can help you with this as it is a combination of a lot of things and it's secretly biology and history in disguise. Psychology could make you feel sad by the number of contents you have to revise, which is a lot, but personally I think psychology is one of the generally fun subjects that you could study in IB course. And as far as I know, all of the psychologists in your year group will be willing to help you if you're struggling, so please reach out for help if you ever choose to take psychology. Some other bits that students have to say about psychology there then. <clears throat> and of course, any year 12s, year 13s that you know, please do chat to them and ask them about psychology if you are uh, wanting a bit more information. Or me, okay, my email address is there, Jay Lawton, and you can find me in Classroom S210 or in the Humanities Office. Should you have any further questions, please, please do come and have a conversation with me if, you're, if it's something that you're interested in. Or you can always talk to Miss Dean as well. Um, so, let us know. Thank you so much for listening and thinking about taking the subject.